You know, whenever we have a world where the likes of Vladimir Putin are tolerated, uh, celebrated even, and the likes of Assad of Syria or Kim Jong-un of North Korea, not to mention numerous other dictators and dictatorships in the Middle East and Africa, whenever we have a world where these people are tolerated and supported, we will have Ukraines. I don't say that with any acquiescence at all towards what's happening in Ukraine. I just say it as an observer of history. It is not the first of its kind and will not be the last of its kind. And I was thinking the other day that, you know, my generation, we baby boomers, I'm in my mid-60s now, I think we've tried to make the world a better, safer place. And by and large, it is. But I don't think I'm going to see in my lifetime the end of the likes of the Vladimir Putins and the Assads and so on. Maybe therefore in your lifetime, you young people watching and listening to this, you have always been the hope of breaking patterns of history. The Arab Spring of 2010-11 was led by people like you, teenagers, kids, that took to the streets by their millions all across North Africa, beginning in Tunisia and stretching to Libya and Yemen and Egypt and Syria, toppling ancient dictatorships and oppressive regimes. They shed blood for it. On their watch, they said, enough is enough. Now, I know that doesn't mean that those countries now have democracy and freedom and civil rights and human rights. I know that's not true, but it's the beginning of the end of those regimes. And I say this because my love and prayers and heart go out to Ukraine like the rest of us are feeling. But I also want to say my prayers are for the emergence of a generation of defiance and revolutionaries in these countries and all around the world that will say, not on our watch, not anymore, and that perhaps your generation, not mine, will be the ones that will see um, the finish of this work, the capstone put in place, as it were, the penultimate breakthrough and breaking of these patterns of history, because history always repeats itself. Where there's no resistance to it doing so, you I pray, become the resistance that perhaps we have tried to be, but the job's still not done. Sending much love and prayers to the Ukrainian people all over the world today and to the emerging generations that are going to change the world forever and hand us something that I won't see in my lifetime. I have planted trees under whose shade I know I will never sit, but I pray that you, my grandkids and their kids will. Love you guys. Hope that helps. Much love.